CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 156 through 160 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great. Let's begin. Question 156. A security administrator is deploying an endpoint detection and response, also known as an EDR solution, to monitor endpoints for malicious activity and automate threat response. To which of the following security categories does an EDR solution belong? The answer is D. Technical. EDR solutions are considered technical controls because they use software tools and system configurations to monitor, detect, and respond to threats across endpoints. To break this topic down, technical controls enforce protection using technology. In contrast, managerial controls define security policies and governance. Operational controls involve day-to-day -day security procedures and workflows and physical controls protect hardware and facilities through physical barriers and monitoring. Question 157. During an investigation, a security team creates a bit-for-bit -bit copy of storage media to analyze potential evidence without altering the original data. Which of the following best describes this stage of the forensic process? The answer is A. Acquisition. Acquisition is the forensic process of capturing a complete and accurate copy of digital evidence, such as a hard drive or memory. This is typically done using specialized tools to ensure the original data remains unchanged. The goal of acquisition is to collect data in a forensically sound manner so it can be analyzed without compromising its integrity. It is one of the first and most critical steps in any forensic investigation. Question 158. Which of the following best explains how encryption differs from hashing? The answer is B. Encryption creates ciphertext. Hashing creates a checksum. Encryption is used to ensure the confidentiality of data by transforming readable information into ciphertext using an encryption algorithm and key. This encrypted data can only be returned to its original form by an authorized party with the proper decryption key. Hashing, on the other hand, generates a fixed output or checksum from the input data and is mainly used to verify integrity. Because any change in the input produces a different hash value, hashing helps confirm that the data has not been modified. Question 159. A company is required to use certified hardware when building its networks. To ensure the hardware is authentic and has not been tampered with, which of the following best addresses the risks associated with procuring counterfeit hardware? The answer is A. A thorough analysis of the supply chain. A thorough supply chain analysis helps identify vulnerabilities in the procurement process ensuring that only authentic, certified hardware is acquired. By evaluating supplier reliability, tracking sourcing methods, and verifying distribution channels, organizations can reduce the risk of counterfeit equipment entering their network. Counterfeit hardware may contain hidden backdoors, fail prematurely, or be incompatible with security standards, all of which can jeopardize operations and data security. Question 160. A systems administrator is updating a set of deployment scripts shared across multiple teams. To ensure consistency and traceability as changes are made over time, which of the following processes should the administrator use? The answer is D. Version control. Version control is a process that tracks and manages changes to files, code, documents, or configurations over time. It provides a detailed history of modifications, including who made each change and when, which supports accountability and collaboration. In environments with multiple contributors or frequent updates, version control prevents conflicts, allows rollbacks to previous versions, and ensures that everyone is working from the most current file. 
So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.